Hi, Dr. Fixmaster here. We are going to tear apart and diagnose a Nintendo Switch Pro controller that has a stuck A button. Let's get right to it. All you need to service this thing is a small Phillips screwdriver and maybe a regular flathead screwdriver uh, to sometimes pry things a little bit. Might be useful. Here's the back label for identification purposes. You can see exactly what kind of controller this is. I understand they come in a few different varieties. Here is the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Uh, if you look, you can see that the A button has been used so much it has just kind of caved in and it doesn't respond anymore. So that's uh, probably going to be a common problem with these things. The top cover is just a cover and it snaps into place right on top of there. No screws. You just prize off. This main cover piece comes off with six screws. It comes off easily. Just lifts right off as soon as you get the, uh, the screws out of it. One there. One there, one in here, one in over here, one up here, and one over there. These two little compartments that you see right here and right here, you notice that to the main control board there's no electrical connections, so those don't have anything to do with uh, the rumble, but I believe these are just ballast weights that have been put, uh, you can see the LEDs light up now that I got the battery plugged back in. These are just ballast weights that prevent the controller from tipping out of your hands when you don't hold on to it very tight. Uh, there's nothing else that that can possibly do because there's no wires to it, there's no inductors around it, nothing. It's just, I believe that's just a weight. Put those right there, those can come out so they don't fall all over while you're while you're trying to get in there. Incidentally, um, there are two screws under this, uh, not just one. There's two screws under that battery shuttle. There's a long screw right here in the middle that needs to come out to finally free up this assembly. Here's what that back, here's what the uh, controller piece the final piece that you take off looks like when you take it off. Um, just basically all the buttons, the plastic solid hard buttons that you push from the top, uh, they're loosely held inside of this uh, plastic frame. So you got to be super careful when you're taking that piece off of this piece, when you remove that final screw in the middle, uh, you have to do it very carefully with this underneath because if you do it with this upside down, uh, all those plastic pieces are going to come loose, the ones that I'm pointing at right here, and there's a few under this rubber piece here. Those will come flying out and fall all over the place, so you want to be careful. Make sure that is upside down when you remove that final piece. Um, here is the, the rubber piece that you're going to see right over here. It might stay stuck to the other part of the board, but this is the, uh, this is the crux. This is the the meat of the matter as to why the A button is stuck. As you can see that the, the conductive pad under here that actually closes the switch, it's present on all of these except for right underneath the A button where it is broken loose and flown off and that's why the, the, A, the A button got stuck and doesn't work anymore. Okay, here's the guts of the Nintendo Switch controller. And this is the root cause as to why the A button doesn't work anymore. Now, as you look very closely here, you see that underneath the buttons are uh, these rubber pads. And if I just remove this, if I just take this off, you can see what's underneath those rubber pads. See those squiggly lines where the switches are? Those are actual switches. And when when you make electrical contact across those, <clears throat> that's when it throws the switch and it activates the switch. Well, what throws the switch? This, this rubber piece, uh, you can see that the, that the rubber piece 
uh, over the A button, which is the one that's uh, stuck frozen, that's the one that is actually missing. That rubber piece is, is missing. It has been pushed so many times by enthusiastic game players that that rubber eventually, just like a, any piece of plastic or metal, you bend it enough times, it will fracture eventually and it will break. So that's probably the weak link in this particular uh, controller. Uh, pushing those buttons, they've only got so many button pushes before this is going to happen. And what's interesting about this, I've got gunk all over my hands because I was trying to clean it. Uh, if you look at the other side of this rubber piece that goes over those buttons, and you look very closely, you can see that there's kind of a textured pattern on top of those buttons. And there's a little squiggly line you can you can see where that squiggle has uh, has kind of embedded in that. But the coating that you see on, underneath that rubber is kind of shiny, a little more shiny than the rest. That's a conductive coating. So when you are playing your game and you're pushing these buttons, it's uh, that conductive coating touches and connects both sides of these squiggly lines to activate that switch. And because the buttons are made of this rubber material, you get this kind of uh, snapback action that pushes the button back up when you're done. Well, of course, right here, the A button is going to, is there, it's not even there anymore. It's broken loose and floated off somewhere. I don't even know where it is. But um, that's why the A button eventually, when that broke, it just broke through, got stuck, and it would not come back out because the rubber mechanism that pushes that button back out is just not even there anymore. So you can't you can't close that switch. I'm unaware of Nintendo selling parts down at this particular level to fix this uh, Nintendo Switch controller. I don't think it's possible. But there you have your root cause. Um, and if Nintendo is watching this, sorry about all the crap on my fingers, um, they need to understand that this is a weak link in the design of their controllers. That's why people have to keep buying them. Uh, so there it is. There it is. The incredible disappearing mystery rubber button. So that is it. Um, normally I like to fix things, but sometimes when you dig into stuff, you find out that there's an unserviceable component down in the guts of it that uh, demands that you buy a new one. So that looks like the case here. Good luck. Thanks for watching.